Well, hello. It has been a while. The summer around here is jam-packed with everything because you only have a few months of good weather. So, it has been a minute since I have been on here. I would love to have a little crafty session with you guys. I got my coffee. And so... I was thinking, let's make some of these. These are little, uh, I think these are going to be little card fronts. Um, I think all you need is some very inexpensive paints, clearance paints, whatever, any kind of paper you have. Um, this little stuff I got from the Dollar Tree in several different colors, $1.25 for each one. So, um, and these are just little die cuts that I have which you can get cute little die cuts even at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 for a bunch of stuff. So we're going to get we're going to do that. We're going to make some fun stuff. I'm going to start cutting some paper. Um I have a bunch of different papers here that I'm looking at already, just pieces. I don't know that we'll use all these, but things that I'm not using, things that were practice, things that were just playing uh that's what I'm thinking. So, um this is my Fiskar very cute and very fun to use. Um, I like that it holds the paper up. And I'm cutting these strips to a three. So I'm just going to make them three. And then however big I want them. Sometimes four, sometimes four and a half. No big deal. Um, but three is a good size because you can put it in any envelope. You can make the card bigger. You can make the card smaller. But three, three and a half, well, that's a good size. This paper um, I got at Walmart, and it is for making, um, practicing your calligraphy. But it's such a fun paper. Um, I really bought it to practice calligraphy, but then I have done watercolor on it and all kinds of stuff. So I just love it. I think it's really cool paper. Um, this is some paper that I cut, or not, I did not cut. This is paper that I dyed with coffee. I'm not sure this one will fit in here. That's one thing I don't like about it. It doesn't even take a full size sheet of paper. That's the only thing that I don't like about my Fiskar is that it just doesn't take a full piece of paper. That that bugs me. That literally bothers me. So it's okay. Not a big deal. What? There's a lot of worse things in the world than your Fiskar doesn't take the right size paper. Um, let's make this one four and a half. And then we'll cut it to make sure it's a three. But it cuts through pretty much anything. It's really good. It is isn't three and a half. Ah, uh, three. Nah, no, three and a half. Make your mind, Danielle. There. Good enough. Okay. We got papers that are cut. I'm going to pause really quick and go get some paint. Okay, so I have all these different colors. Um, you can use any kind of yarn, not yarn. Um, you can use fabric. I have so many fabrics now. Um, you can use fabric, you could use lace, you could use whatever this is let me look and see what do they actually call this a floral mesh ribbon for floral garden so i mean i just really fell in love with this this is like so fun and the thought of taking a piece of this and gluing it down on something holy cow that just was like too much for my brain to think about but anyhow um so i have all the papers that i cut that you saw you can do it on watercolor paper. See, a lot of these are just mess ups. Just mistakes that I'm not using anymore. Regular paper, inside of a mat board. Um, something that I didn't really like after I did it. Um, or, and or, watercolor paper. Which is awesome. Watercolor paper is fantastic for anything because it's nice and thick and it holds its shape really well. So, that's where I started with the watercolor paper. We already have so many, so I'm not going to do this one, but um, they also have this watercolor or, or paper, but it is paper for acrylics and oils. And you can see that little 
thing on it. That is awesome. I love the grain on there. That's pretty. But we have so many already. Let's just do with what we have real quick and see what we come up with. This one's huge. So I'm going to cut this one down. And we'll make a little one. Perfect. Perfect. It just shows that you can use your scraps to make a beautiful card for anybody. Like seriously, if you got this in the mail on a card, wouldn't you think that, that was just the cutest little thing you ever saw? And literally, it's the easiest. I'm sorry, was I not in the in the frame? I'll push this just a little bit. There you go. Okay. So literally, these are the cutest little things. And they're just a little awesome little put it on a card, say happy day, love you guys, whatever. And all I did was glue this on right through that. So it's just glue, like a dollop of glue and something heavy on top. A dollop of glue and something heavy on top. And then they just turned out so cute. I just really like them. I'm going to move you guys over just a tad because holy cow, it seems like I am out of what I usually do here. Okay, we're in there. Okay, you're good. But like you see here, you can use regular old everyday paint. I got this stencil stuff. This stuff is really cool. So we're going to try some of these and see what we come up with. I even have chalkboard paint and uh, Liquitex Basics. Well, so you can use anything, whatever your little heart desires. And, and if you don't have a paintbrush at home, if you have a little spatula of sorts or even a knife, I'm going to show you how to use it just with some paint. We're just going to, we're doing this really cheap. We're doing it on the cheap. Okay. Okay. So I love this one. We're going to move all these over and we're going to do a, a smattering of them. And it's going to be super fast, super easy. We're all going to love it. Everybody's going to be like, whoa, that is so cool. I'm seeing this. I'm thinking this would be really cool on here. Let's do this. Just a little bit of this. Oh, I haven't used it. I want to like this. And we're just going to drip some on here. And then how easy is that? You're just going to take your spatula and you're just going to smear it until you're happy with it. Go up, go back, go sideways, make it your own, whatever you like. That is perfect. Yeah, look, I like that. That is just cool. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Then you take an old napkin and you just wipe that off and get ready for the next one. Unless you want a little bit of uh, the black to show through with the next color. That might be pretty too. Okay, so that one's finished. We're done with that. I'm going to put it aside. Now, this is what I did with um, these ones. What did I use on this one? Yeah, I used the pink and the blue. Let's try the yellow. Let's try the yellow. See what we can come up with. And... Yes, you can use this with a spatula, but let's try it with a with a knife. Just a regular old butter knife. I got a pack of three of these at the Dollar Tree. So, not a big deal. We're just going to grab some of this, and we're just going to tilt our paper and just smear it. And it's just like, it's just therapeutic and pretty and just give that little smeary thing you turn your paper around and the knife gives it a little bit of a, a tooth you see that little it doesn't have to be even but look that's just pretty and done we're not gonna worry about that one anymore we're just gonna put it over here and we'll leave it alone let her dry and they don't even have to dry completely for this this is just something that I was doing and I was like man this is just it's just pretty. Make sure you, if you get these, shut them right away because they do tend to be thick. Shut them good. Okay, so the next one. Let's see. What about this one? We'll do, oh, let's do something we haven't done. Let's try the coffee one. And let's try with coffee. Let's try, oh, let's try this. Yeah. Um, 
You know what? I can't even say what that word is. I thought it was phalo blue, but heavenly days. It's a blue. <laughs> it's a blue. So let's just take a little bit of this. We're going to squish it on the page. And then it's pretty. It's pretty blue. We're going to take our little spatula. First of all, I'm going to clean this off of my knife. It's super easy. You just take an old piece of napkin. It can be one of your um, overused napkins because this stuff is just kind of, you know, thick and icky. And you take your spatula and you just... I think that is fantastic. Wow, I haven't done this one. So look at that. And you can... Put some different textures in there. Oh, so cool. Okay, I'm not touching that again. That's that's just awesome. We're just going to put that aside. Clean off our spatula again. Yep. And then we'll move on to the next one. This one is something that I was playing with and wasn't quite sure that I liked it. So I didn't do it. Let's try. Um... There's no blue on this. Let's try blue on this. Who knows? It might turn out like total, total creparema. Just never know. And you can use your finger. Let's do it. Let's try it. Use your finger. Just smear it on here. And just use your finger. Why not? I mean, that's the cheapest paintbrush there is, is your finner. And then you got the background. That's kind of cool. Okay, then you just wipe your finger off so you don't get the blue on something else. Make sure you get all the fingers that have the blue. And then we take this and put this aside. And let's try. Let's try this leafy green. This is, um, I'm pretty sure this was from Walmart. Just like a regular Walmart paint. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too expensive, just a couple bucks. Making cards for people, you know that some people just take them and look at them and throw them out. Maybe you want to make it a little bit pretty. Maybe they won't quite throw it out as fast as they usually would. Look at that. That's cool. I like it. Oh, just. You see that? That's gorgeous. That's fantastic. I love it. Okay. Okay, let's do a couple more. This paper I got at Michael's. It's very slick and nothing sticks to this stuff. Nothing. So let's try with some of this. I'm going to try this blue on here because it's not really blue. I think it's kind of a purpley, like a lavender, smoky blue. It looks lavender to me. Let's try it just a little, see what it looks like. Meh. Nah, nah. Nope, I don't like it. Let's try the pinky, a pinky red one. What is it called? Cherry wine. Let's try the cherry wine. And I got these, again, I got these on clearance at Michael's. Just awesome paint. And let's try this. Ooh, with that blue mixed into it. That's kind of interesting. See, I told you, you can do the a little smearage of something else in there, too. Wow. Okay, that's fancy. I'm not going to leave that alone. We're going to put it up here and let it dry. And then we'll try a piece of the inside of mat board. We could put it on this side, but I'm going to try the back side of it. I'm going to... I think we'll use the blue on this. The, yeah, the blue one on this one. Let's see how that goes. And... If we use a blue, maybe we could smear a little something else into it. Um, I'm going to do something here real quick. It's chalkboard paint. I love this stuff. Okay, so we're just going to do that really quick. Take my thing, because we don't want to get the chalkboard paint mixed into... Uh, 
the tub because I don't know what that would do. I'm not really looking for that right now. Get, it's really kind of hard to get out sometimes. And this thing is kind of flimsy. And so then we're just going to put that on there. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the other spatula because this one is kind of giving me trouble. But it, I know there's a lot of people that keep telling me, oh, you do wonderful stuff, but I could never do that. I can't paint. I don't know how to paint. Okay, this is not painting. This is literally smearing with a with a, a knife, a butter knife. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Yep. And then scrape it a little bit so that black comes through. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're looking for. That's cool. Now, anybody who tells me they can't do that, seriously, I love painting with watercolors and making something beautiful. But this, I'm telling you, this is just therapeutic. This is therapy. You can just do this and relax. And you don't have to do anything. Uh, this is a piece of Ubo paper. No, this is water. This is... Um, photo paper. That's what that is. That is photo paper. I think we're going to try some, um, what colors are we dealing with in th with this? Let's try some cadmium orange hue. Mm, it's really kind of yellowy. Uh, let's try primary yellow. I like that idea. Just like primary yellow. Maybe we'll mix primary yellow with a different color. We'll put um, put primary yellow on here. Okay. Let's try a couple of different colors. Maybe, maybe three. We'll try a little bit of this orange, like cadmium orange, whatever, deep. Just a little, and just to set it off, let's try a little bit of light blue permanent. Sometimes these lids are just cantankerous, man. Okay. And we're going to use our big plastic spatula for this one. This one. And we're just going to smear it. I have not done this. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Well, that is just beautiful. I mean, who in the world would tell me they can't do this? Look at that. That's gorgeous. All by itself. Wow. I like it. The background is interesting. The foreground is interesting. And who knows what we're going to put on top of there. But I'm promising you, we're going to finish off every one of these. Every one of them. I think, I think we have enough, though. How many do we have? One, two, three, seven, eight. We got eight of them now. I think that could be enough. We don't have to do these. Yeah, we'll save these for another time. And we'll do these eight. I'm going to let these dry for a minute. And then I'll be right back. Clean up some stuff. Hello, I'm back. Everything is mostly dry. I have my trusty old tacky glue. That's my favorite thing to glue things with. Um, paperish things, anyway. But... I went and looked for some stuff. I cut some of these beautiful um, floral tape, floral, not tape, floral mesh ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So I cut up a piece of each of the colors and I got some extra uh, little ribbon, some burlap. I think this is, yeah, this is burlap. I think I'm just going to get rid of that little piece. Yeah, that's cool. Um, this cute little... This is kind of like a ribbon. It was in the ribbon section. This is just a little piece of some little beautiful ribbon. So again, we did this with a knife and cheap palette knives. Nothing expensive here. And we're going to make some pretty stuff. So what I was thinking of was like, let's start with this one. This one's still a little bit wet. 
scoot some stuff over so we can just this one is still really wet but sometimes the wetness is a good thing because it helps so I have this dye um, I don't know which one it is hold on one second okay I found it uh, spellbinders it makes this lovely lovely dye it's wonderful and it comes with flowers and such but I already had this one cut so and I already had this pretty little flower cut which I guess I should find out where that is too and the flower is from Sizzix Thinlets so I thought that we could just put those I think that looks really cute like right like that what do you think I'd love if you could just suddenly answer me but you can't <laughs> so it's all on me let's just try it it's still a wee bit wet that's okay and do we need anything underneath it do we do we do we do we? I think there's a lot of color there already so I think this one is just going to be just like this. We'll put a little glue underneath the flower and the glue and the wetness of the, of the paint should hold it all together for us. Yeah. So we're just going to put a bunch of glue on this little guy. That's the only bad thing about this glue. It takes a long time to get to the bottom. Especially when it's a little older and it's gotten thick. Okay. Lots of glue because it'll hold everything down. Everything. There's not very much there. I'm thinking just like that. But yeah. Who doesn't like that? That's kind of pretty right there. Do you know what? It'd be even prettier if I put on my glasses. Oh my goodness, yes. Yep, that is the thing. I like this one. That is perfect. I think that's good, just like that. Put it on a card base and you got yourself a cute little card. You know what? You know what? <laughs> We're gonna put a little glue right here just for grins and giggles real quick. And I'm going to use a great big toothpick and I'm going to grab some glue and I'm going to put it on some of these leaves because it's going to be floppy floppy. We don't want floppy floppy. We want steady eddy. There you go. I'm going to push it down the other end. Just a little help. Perfect. Perfect. The other end is not that big of a deal. So that's good. Perfect. Okie dokie. And now let's see the black one is done. Let's see what we can figure out with the black one. I was thinking a little bit of or where's that white, white, white. But the background is not white, white, white. It almost looks like a cobweb. Like we should put a spider on it background is not white white let me get rid of this glue real quick so I don't have things sticking to my desk none of that and this paper towel has to go away because um, <laughs> it's just got wet paint on it so it's still making me green and we're gonna have green stuff where we don't want green stuff so yeah Okay, let's see what we can come up with with this. I think I had another. If we did, that is kind of creamy in the background. We have two different creamy ones. We have this creamy one, and we have this creamy one. So this is like off-white. That's probably perfect right there. And this is not off-white. This is like almost tan almost tan 
Hmm. 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 Well, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. What do you think with that? That is 2G right there. That is 2G. I like it. Um, where are my leaves? Oh, there they are. And I have these leaves that I made a while ago. Some of them are made out of, um, this is like out of a wipey. You could do that. Or you could do this. You could do both of them. Or you could do music notes. That's kind of cool. I think I like the music notes. I don't know what the music notes are from. But I like that one. Okay. Before we change our mind, let's glue her down. Da, 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 da. Big old dollop of glue because it's holding down everything. Um, and a little glue on this one too because, well, just because. This is just a watercolor piece of paper that I cut in a circle with some messed up, or maybe some circles that I made. Just like doodled on it, a flower-ish looking thing. And looky there. In a couple of seconds, you have a cute little something to send to somebody. Oops. You have a cute little something to send to somebody and be like, hey, I was thinking about you. Yeah, I like that. Just like that. And we're going to put the glue on top of, or the paint on top of it to hold it down for a minute. Okay. Let's try this yellow one. And we're going to try this great big butterfly. Oh, wow. That's already cute. Already cool. Look at that. Already pretty. Um, is there anything we can do more to it? Let's see. Let's see. Do we need a flower? No, we don't need a flower. What if we put a little bit of like something like this on there? Big old butterfly on top of that pretty little blue flower. That's kind of snazzy right there. I like that a little bit. Let's go. I'm going to wait on that one for like two seconds because I want to try a couple of these others real quick and see. Some of these are still a little bit wet, but I did have a funny little thought with this little fish. I was thinking if you, if you put little like this on there for like kind of seaweed and I put this little fish on top, wouldn't that look cute? A little fish in the seaweed. I think that'd be cute. And then we could uh, color the fish after he's dry because his little pieces and parts will come right out because he was die cast. With my spellbinder. Spellbinder Platinum 6. We have talked about it before. I've already had people that asked me to show it and do some die cuts. So we will do that soon. But today I needed a little bit of just, just painting time. But I think that's cute. Yes, that is cute. I love that right there. Okay, we're going to put a piece of something heavy on it. Some paint <laughs> just to hold it down so while it glues I really like this I'm liking that more and more okay now if we take this and put the flower on it oh that's snazzy that's cute that's cute I like it and then put like the brown on the green like that too and then the blue Oh, this blue is so beautiful. So pretty. Okay, so we have, we did one, two, three. Oh, dude, stop gluing everybody to you. I put this one way over here so it wouldn't get paint on anybody, and it, it's getting paint all over everybody. <laughs> stop being overachiever. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought we had eight. Oh, there's one right beside me. <laughs> oh my goodness, Danielle. You girl. Girl. What are you doing, girl? We want to have 
I'm not quite sure. Okay, so I changed our mind. Ha ha ha. And this just is gorgeous. This is actually a stamp and die set from Altenew. They have this uh, stamp and dies where you can buy you buy the stamps and the dies, and it cuts it out after you layer them, which makes them look very real. And they're absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to glue that down. This beautiful little butterfly is from um, Tattered Lace. This is one of the first butterflies I got. I think I've shown it to you guys before. Tattered Lace is awesome. This did, it does have a spot somewhere where it doesn't cut. So this, they forgot a spot. So you have to do that with your scissors. And that's fine. But that's a beautiful little flower, a little butterfly that goes there. Also, um, I pulled out my, um, this little flower is from Sizzix. And um, it's just a bunch of wildflowers. It's just a bunch of wildflowers that you can cut out with your spell dump, Spellbinders Platinum. That's the one I have, so that's the one I'm going to talk about. And Spellbinders Platinum is awesome. And I still am 100% in loving that. That just looks pretty. Just pretty. And just to show you, I don't know this company. I have to look and see. First edition. Um, it's they have good dies. I mean, I have lots of them. I got them online. Um, in Create and Craft back in back in the day when Create and Craft was around. But this is the little fish that we put over here in the seaweed. So that's a cute little guy. Uh, I used to buy a lot of my dyes on the, it was Create and Craft channel. It was a really nice channel, and then they went away. So, uh, so be it. They went away. This beautiful little flower I made all on my own. I found a flower online, and I printed it out. I cut it out, flipped it over, and just made my own flower out of it. It was a little different. So I thought that looked cute on there. But we still have to glue them down. So we're going to, oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put a little glue under this guy too. So yeah, I just put some glue underneath the burlap. And I'm going to just place these the way I want them. And push them down so they will all hold on to the background. So I move that one over. And I'm going to glue down this little lovely... And we play the waiting game because the glue goes hiding. Da, 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 da. Even though I keep it laying on the side. But then I thought this would be cute, super cute on there. And then um, since we have as much green in the background already, we could just do a, a leaf with some wordage on it behind it. And so look at that. That's cute. We're running out of... <laughs> we're running out of paint bottles. So scoot that over and put this one over here. Maybe that'll hold it down for a little bit. Just give it a little bit of weight. Oh, I need some weight on that sucker. There we go. Okay, now we have these two still. Oh, and this one too. Yes, and I do, I do like this one, so I think I'm just going to glue it down as is because I just think it's really pretty and anybody is going to love getting a cute little card like this so you just stick it on there in the old way because this is art that is just kind of uh relaxing this this was a piece of red um this was this fancy green paper but i put it in red paint and used it as a stencil mm. I'm not even showing it to you. Sorry about that. So this was a fancy green paper. <laughs> and I put it in red paint. Hopefully the last one I showed you was in there. 
So we're going to put this one this way, I do believe, because the little butterfly is going to be sitting right there having a snacky snack on a pretty blue flower. Yeah, pretty blue wildflower. Okay, so we still have these two. And I was seriously thinking about putting these on here, but, oh, well, that's backwards, so we wouldn't do that. But I just don't think that's enough, and the blue is still wet. <laughs> silly blue paint let's get my scissors out and see what we can do with this I want them to be stuck together but I don't know if that's enough behind it to keep it from blending into the background okay that's white that's cream maybe the white what do you think oh dude chillax there man chillax what if we put a little bit of this behind it? Nope, I don't like that at all. Not at all. Not at all. No, I don't like it. What about some little white flowers that I got from probably the Dollar Tree? Jot. I think the Dollar Tree because this is Jot. Jot is very good. Or, or, um... We have these two cutie pies. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Yeah, this is from the Dollar Tree. Um, I was thinking maybe this little teeny tiny, which is a cute little bumblebee sleeping in a, oh, it's so cute. Or this little guy, oh, they're all so cute. I'm gonna scroll you back a little bit because you're so close. Can you even see like this guy I was looking at or this guy? They're so cute. I mean, this is cute too, but it's got a lot of red in it. I don't know. Let's take it open and see what we see. Let's open it and see what we see. I don't like this sticky stuff. Give it a little snip and rip it off. That way I can get to them more easily. Oh, this is going to make it so easy to figure out what we want to do because like, it's Clear so you can look at it. Oh, that's just so cute. That might be it. But look at this guy. He's so proud and happy. <gasps> and they're 3D-ish. That one's cute too. Oh, dude. What to do? What to do? I think I'm going to... Mm. And these are just from the Dollar Tree. So I think this is the one. Oh my goodness. Ah, <gasps> so toochie, so toochie. Oh my goodness, I have another little idea here because I have this still. This little white flowery thing. You can put that right behind it and have it, oh! And then it looks like he's sleeping in a daisy. That's cute, okay, I think we're gonna do that. That's just too cute. And this was just cut out of some, some fabric of some sort with Da, da 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 Come on. Just cut out a fabric with my uh, daisy dye. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. Give it a little squish down. This one has a sticky on it, but I never trust those. We're gonna give it some extra glue. And I think that is gonna be just cute. Oh, so cute. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. That's, that's fantastic. Look at it. <gasps> would you know anybody who would be like, oh my goodness, that's the cutest little card. You made that? And you'd be like, yeah, I made it. All on my own, because I'm that person. I'm so good. Okay, so we used those. Let me put them back real quick. In the little sleevey thingy. Okay, work with me here. Thank you. Okay, so can we use any of these on the blue? Well, of course we can because they're bluish. They're really cute. I was thinking maybe this little guy because look at that. Just cute. I mean, the tree, of course, would be adorable. But it's so big. And I'm not willing to cut it down because there's a very big possibility I will use it later on. Because seriously, why not? It's 
just so cute. So you can put this little guy on there. He's blue in the blue background. Oh, that's so adorable. I just love that. It might just be that. Okay, but I also have these butterflies. Again, I got these at the Dollar Tree. Back when things were a dollar. When things were just a dollar. Oh, yeah. Let's put this great big one on there. No, let's not. So these, you don't have to have anything to cut out. You don't have to have anything to do. You can just go to the dollar store and buy some something. Well, that's kind of cool because it's got the um, the brown in the background. Hmm. Make sure there's a blue on the back of it. What about this guy? I think it still would have to have some sort of a flower or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. I know not. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Let's look at that a little harder. That is really pretty. That is really, really pretty. Now, the difference is... Do we want to put that on there or do we want to put this cute little owl? So completely different to this little owl. What about this little owl? I didn't want to take it all the way out because it's hard to get back in there. But anyhow, that's cute too. But I just really like this guy on the stump. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Put these guys on there and have them off the side. Coming off of a branch. All depends on who you're sending it to, I guess, right? I mean, if you're sending it to a couple that is having an anniversary, that's kind of cute. If you're sending it to just a little guy or girl, then that's really cute. I don't know. You know it's hard. It's hard deciding. I think this one. I think this one. Let me see. Oh, dude, settle down. Like this guy or this guy? This guy? Maybe put this guy over here, and then we can find a little butterfly to put up here. Yeah, or a little something. Yeah, why not? Okay, little dude. Agree with me. Come on, man. Work with me. But yeah, I don't trust these little stickies, mainly because there's so much that it has to hold down. So we're going to put that little, little cutie patootie right there. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Put these guys away and see if we can find a butterfly tiny enough that it could just be like coming down to visit the little guy like oh my goodness you're so cute hold on one second okay so I got my little recollections uh, stamp punch stamp silly okay so I thought well maybe we'll just punch one out and see for size maybe this will be perfect there you go Cute little teeny tiny, teeny tiny butterfly sitting up here. We could color him a little bit because he's so tiny and he's so cute. Maybe he's even closer. Maybe he's not way up there. Maybe he's like right here. We'll put him right there. And then we'll take our sharpie pen give him a body whoops come on little dude work with me give him a little body and then we can da, 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 da. I have this stuff Liquitex gold metallic medium this stuff is pretty cool we can just take it Get rid of this guy for now. Sorry, thanks for 
thanks for coming. We'll give a little bit of this goldy stuff. And it just makes everything kind of goldy. It's pretty. Very, very pretty. So we're just going to get a little teeny tiny brush. And we're just going to give them um, some goldy wings. Just so he shows up. That blue paint is just taking its sweet time. How cool is that? Cute little little butterfly and the little owl is sitting here going, hello little butterfly, you're so cute. And then we're going to do our fish again too. I think I'm going to use this gold stuff on it too. And then we'll give him some different colors here in a second. But wouldn't that be cool? Like a little, little shimmer for our little cutie pie here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him all covered in the shimmers. Doesn't have to be too thick. Just a little bit. Just a little something, something. Just a little something, something, something. And then, what do we have? What do we have in our crafty stash that we could, quick, quick, give him some color? Um... Give him a little bit of a green. Okay, I don't even have any water out here. Nothing. Nothing. I got nothing. No water. No nothing. I don't want this to stick into my paintbrush, though. Easy, easy. Clean up time. Easy, easy. Okay, that'll hold it for now. Throw this away. And we'll get a tiny paintbrush. Teeny, tiny paintbrush. I would like it's more water. We gotta have clean water for this one. Okay. Everybody fall down. And we're gonna give our little fish. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, this is a Stabilo Woody. These are pretty fantastic you can you can crayon with them you can paint with them you can get them wet you can do all kinds of stuff with them they're kind of cool we're just gonna look at that super fast and easy just give them some just some color do 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 just a little bit of color. We still might do a different color because why not, right? Why not? Nobody says you can't. This is my art. You do your art. You can do it any way you want to do it. And let's get out some of the um, blue. Nope, that's black. We'll get out a blue, darker blue. Excuse me. I like to get them wet because then they... They work faster. They're pretty cool. I mean, I had these for the little tiny people at my daycare, but I still think that they're too snazzy for school. Yeah, this is cool. We'll make our fish all colorful and pretty. And are we done? Are we done with the fish? Or do we want more? Um, my fish is going to have um, some reddish pinkish lips. Because I can... Because I can, and you can do whatever your little heart desires. Look at that. That's cute. I like it. I like it. So cute. I mean, look, look at the pigment that comes off of these things. Just like so much. Okay, let's look at them all. Some of them aren't quite dry yet, but that's okie dokie. Not the problem. 
oh, I probably should wipe this up so we don't get it all over our pretty cards. So we'll get rid of the paint and the uh, Stabilo Woody. You're not soaking. Wow. You've been using it because you're not even soaking stuff up anymore. Okay. Now we're cooking. Okay. I think we are done. We have so many gorgeous little... Oh, that didn't even have one. Gorgeous little cards we have made. Look at this. Look at all these cutenesses that we made. Okay, you guys, you know... You're very nice, but we're not going to use you. Yeah. Yep, yep. This one's really long, but it's still good. I like it. I like it a lot. Get all these in frames. So you can see them all. I love the little fish. I'm just telling you, I love that little fish. Just a cutie pie. Just a cutie pie. Okay, you guys are good. Look at all these cute little cards we made. And I don't even know how long this took, but it didn't take very long. We can screw them up a bit. Because you can still see them. I was trying to get them all in frame. But we're doing good. We got lots of room. Look at all those cute little cards we made. Oh my goodness. And how easy is it? Seriously, a cut out flower. A pair of scissors. You can cut yourself out a flower. Draw it or print it off the, the uh, computer and boom, you got a flower. Uh, dies. We have dies all over the place. Die cuts. This one is a die cut leaf, but I cut that out with my hands. I cut a circle and painted some stuff on the inside and doodled a flower in there. So that's my own flower. This, look at that. That is got to be one of my favorites because that is just pretty. But <laughs> that, that little cutie patootie. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute that is. Just a cutie. Oh, just cute. And then these are the two that I made before. So seriously, people, you can do this. This is, this is painting, but it's painting that anybody can do because you're just using the barest essentials. List some paint, any kind of paint that you have. And if you have some plastic spatulas or if you don't, Get a paint, get a knife that you don't care about. $1.25 for three butter knives. And then you have this, and you can use this with all kinds of stuff. Oh my goodness. I think this was just a super success. So yeah, you can take any one of these and you can put them on a card front. Put the, Use these for the card front. This one you could cut down a little bit, make it into a smaller card just like the other ones. Once it ever dries, because it's still kind of wet in places. But yeah, you could do all that. Look at how cute. <laughs> They're all so cute. I don't know which one's my favorite. Because I can look at this one and say that is definitely my favorite because it's very elegant. But then this one is so... <laughs> turned out really, really good. Really, really good. They're all so cute. This one, I just love this for some reason. I don't even know why. But then these two I did earlier and I love them. I took a lot more time on these because I painted this and I painted this, but it is what it is. And I love this butterfly dye. This is a really good one. Um, I don't know if you can get it anymore, but it is a really good butterfly dye. So yeah, get out there and make some cards and send some cards to your friends because I think we all kind of need love. We all need some more love in our lives. So get out there and and show your friends and your neighbors and your family members and, and everybody. Show everybody some love. And just let people know that you care. Because it's a good thing to care for others and to show people that you're thinking about them. So yeah, I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you have a wonderful day, my friends. I am just so happy to be back here at my desk. Arting it up with you guys it just makes me happy. So... Yeah, I'm going to be back in a couple of days, probably with another video, but this one is awesome. Even if I do say so myself, a lot of this stuff is not me like this and this 
Ooh, those aren't me. The dies, I just cut them out with a die cutter. But it's just what you get in your brain and how you figure out what you want to do with it all. So, yeah. I'm going to leave you with that, friends. I hope you have a great day. Much love and peace to you all. God bless you. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you.